Signalis is a gem of a game without any mods. However, if you're someone like me, chances are you've at least held a curiosity for what this title would be like in a first person or alternative camera. In today's video, I will explain how to be able to use my camera perspective mod to play Signalis in an alternative way. I will also explain the newest update to the mod and what that brings, and finally I'll close out with my future plans for this mod. So with, so with no more delay, let's get right into this. So first things first, you're going to need to navigate to the link I have below to the Nexus mod page for this mod. When you get to this page, you will see a link to the download of the mod, and you're going to want to download this file. However, this sole DLL file is not enough, as we are going to need to set up something to actually read my mod. This is where Melon Loader comes in. On the Nexus page for this mod, you will see a required file link for Melon Loader. Tap this and navigate to their website. Here you will see an ability to download an installer for Melon Loader, which you're going to want. Using this installer, we can direct it to our Signalis files, which can be found in the Steam Common Apps folder, which can be accessed by going on Steam and clicking on our recent files. Next, we don't actually want to use the suggested settings anymore, as the new version of Melon Loader version 6.0 is quite honestly awful. So Signalis mods are built instead in the now outdated 5.7 and you can choose this option as the install by bug. <laughs> Next, we don't actually want to use the suggested settings anymore, as the new version of Melon Loader version 6.0 is quite honestly awful, so Signalis mods are built instead in the now outdated 5.7. You can choose this option as the install by going to settings, toggling the one that lets you use older builds, and then returning over to the auto launcher and selecting 5.7 version of Melon Loader. Now with Melon Loader installed, we can navigate back to our local files and open back up the mods folder. In this folder, we can now drag in my file you downloaded earlier. This will now make it, so if you open Signalis, my mod will be loaded in. From here, we're so close to being done, that the last thing though is there is some minor settings in the game you're going to want to toggle. <clears throat> in the past, I tried to force the game to toggle these, but it didn't work and made bugs. So simple navigate to your settings tab and enable both tank mode and simple enemy rendering. These two settings are integral for the mod to work properly, otherwise you will not have too great experience with the mod. With these settings, and the mod now installed, you can look at the three camera modes that this mod offers. First is the first person camera, players can toggle this using F1, allowing them to play the game out of the eyes of Elster. Next is the third person over the shoulder camera, this one is toggled by F2, which gives a camera that resembles the camera angle from Dead Space, letting Elster really embody his inner Isaac Clarke. Finally is the Devil May Cry drone camera, this one is toggled by the numpad plus button, which gives a camera that, as the name suggests, resembles how Devil May Cry looks or how a drone following someone would look. So that is the basics of the mod. For everyone new to this, I personally am biased as I made this, but I think it is rather cool to be able to see the game from another angle. And if you find any dope screenshots using this mod, always feel free to throw them my way over on my Discord link below. But from the basics, over to the newest update. As of this week, CPM now has update 1.3. This update now allows you to freely switch between the different camera modes, which prior to this required you to load into another scene in order to switch cameras. This update also features a complete rewrite to the mod, which will allow future updates. From there, we can get into the possible plans for the future. So what are my plans? Well, one of my chief issues at the moment is regarding the first person camera. I think that this camera honestly is quite jarring and not fully implemented into the scene. To fix this, I think that various things regarding weapons need to be brought up to be more level with the modified camera allowing for better and more natural aiming, and really just make it not really feeling that wrong. Next issue, the lack of turning without movement. Simply put right now, in order to look left or right or move your gun left or right, you need to literally move Elster left or right which is not great. 
I would like to add the ability to turn or aim using probably the keypad in the future. Finally, I'd like to be able to just clean up general things that break the immersion with this camera angle. This would be a longer series of fixes, but these small cleanups will probably get rolled out alongside the two prime objectives. That's all I've got for y'all today. CPM is a project I intend on improving for some time, so if you find any bugs or any improvements you'd like to suggest, feel free to throw them my way in my Discord link below. But, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see y'all next time.